No jet here at Mosca's restaurant. Get stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. I'm here at Cooter Brown's meeting up with some members of my social organization, The Dirty Dozen, before we head on out for a fantastic dinner tonight. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we visit Mosca's restaurant for our restaurant review videos to experience the good stuff in here with their fantastic New Orleans Italian food. This New Orleans Creole Italian restaurant is very popular for their delicious Italian food and New Orleans Creole food. Mosca's is located on the west bank of the Mississippi River in the greater New Orleans suburb of West Wego at 4137 US 90 West, which is about 25 minutes and 17 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Mosca's was established in 1946 by Provino Mosca, who immigrated to America in 1913 from San Bernadetto de Toronto, Italy. Provino first lived in Chicago Heights, Illinois, where he got married and had a family before moving to Louisiana in 1946, when he opened this restaurant, which was originally called Williswood, before becoming known simply as Mosca's Restaurant. In 1999, Mosca's won a James Beard Award in America's Regional Classics category. So, let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Mosca's is well known for their family style dining along with their cash only policy so no credit cards or checks allowed here. Folks also like to hang out at the bar in the front here and then they have a lot of memorabilia all along the walls on the inside to check out. <laughs> So we got seated in the main dining room here and you can tell it's a pretty crowded popular space. Now there's only eight of us tonight, we're four short of a dozen, but we're still going to have a really good time here, so no worries as we can still eat a lot of food. So we've got our hostess with the mostess here that's taking good care of us and we've got our menus, so let's check out what we're going to get tonight. And they are cash only. Then we have our adult beverage menu with the wine list of red wines, white wines, blush wines, sparkling wine, ports, spirits, beers, and Louisiana beers. Then we get to the food with soups, chef soup, salads, Italian salad, Italian crab salad, Italian dishes, small spaghetti, large spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs, spaghetti bordelaise, oil, butter, and garlic, sausage Johnny with roasted potatoes, Shrimp Mosca, shrimp and shell, sauté with Italian seasonings and white wine. Oysters Mosca, small or large. Fresh whole oysters with Mosca special Italian seasoning, topped with breadcrumbs and baked. Chicken cacciatore, half or whole. Chicken alla grande, half or whole. Sauteed with rosemary and Italian seasoning, whole cloves of garlic and white wine. Fowl, may take 60 minutes or more. Mimi's broiled chicken with roasted potatoes. Broiled chicken with roasted potatoes. Steaks, 10 ounce filet mignon with roasted potatoes. Side orders, roasted potatoes, red gravy, bordelaise sauce, desserts, pineapple fluff, angelo bricado Italian ice cream. Beverages, coffee, soft drinks, espresso coffee, San Pellegrino sparkling water, milk. All food has to be prepared for you. 50 minutes or more is needed, and all food is served a la carte unless otherwise specified. And no separate checks. So all of these different rules and the family style menu ordering process can be a bit overwhelming for the first time visitor. And even with a group like mine, where everyone has been here many times, it still can be a bit of a challenge to get everybody to agree with what we want to eat off the menu. So before we get to the current meal, I'll just review what I ate the last time I was here. Here's the chicken a la grande, then we have the chicken cacciatore, and of course, there's the always popular shrimp masca. Ooh, don't those look delicious. Here's the spaghetti and meatballs, which is always a solid staple. And then for dessert, I got the pineapple fluff. Now the desserts here I think might be one of the weak areas. All right, so. Here we are at the table, making our final choices and decisions about what it is we're going to get. Having a little toast before we start the feast. And we 
We're starting off with a little bread roll. Ha <laughs> ha, a little bread butter. Always a good idea because, hey, you can't start a proper Italian meal without a little bread and butter, right? Or maybe some bread and olive oil at least. So here we are having a grand time, getting ready for some fun stuff ahead with our feast. <laughs> That is very chewy bread. That's the Commodore. I'm, that's what I'm doing. How do you like that bread? Ida? It's, it's bread with real butter. Nobody else wore their uniform. Only like Bond and I do. Real butter. Next up, we had the crab salad, which looks like a bunch of iceberg lettuce and tomatoes with some crab inside of it. So, oh, here we go. So, it's not the most complicated thing. It's a pretty basic looking salad with some crab meat in it. It's an okay thing. It's probably not my favorite thing I've ever had. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. It's a you know pretty uh, average tasting kind of thing. Uh, iceberg lettuce salad, you know, it's okay. It's a good thing in the hot weather. It cools you down a little bit. And the crab meat's a nice little kick up to it. So it's a decent thing. Probably not one of my overall favorite things here. So uh, it's okay. And it gives us a little uh, roughage and a little warm up for the further feasting ahead. Now, here we go. Just like I totally destroyed this crab salad, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this crab salad. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. If I do work for tips, I appreciate any help with that. Next up, we have the chicken a la grande and the oysters mosca. Ooh, yeah. Then a little shrimp mosca right here. Ooh, yeah. And then a little side of pasta, of course. And then the ever popular spaghetti and meatballs, of course. So it's always nice to have a nice variety of options. And here's my plate of all of those various items I'm about to dig into and feast on. So here's part of that meatball from the spaghetti and meatballs. And then we're gonna get a little bite of one of these delicious, or two of these little delicious shrimp moscas. Ooh, yes, yum, yum, yum. And here we go with a little pasta from the spaghetti and meatballs because hey, it's not spaghetti and meatballs without a little spaghetti. And this uh, pasta is of course cooked perfectly out of the day. And the red gravy is quite nice too. Next up, we have to sample the legendary Oysters Mosca. So, oysters have been a little difficult to come by so far this year, so it is a pleasure to be able to get some delicious oysters like this. Oh yeah! So, the Oysters Mosca is a very simple dish, but it does have a lot of flavor. Mmm, alright, some of this chicken here. This is wonderfully delicious chicken a la grande. So the chicken a la grande is just a very wonderful thing. And here's some of the delicious garlic here. Oh, I'm keeping the vampires away with that whole clove of garlic. And oh, look at all of this wonderful, delicious stuff I have. The chicken really is just fork tender. It's just so easy and delicious to eat. There's just all sorts of good flavors in it. I'm a little sad we didn't get a chicken cacciatore too though, because that's a different kind of thing, but a similar tender style of chicken. Now I would say the last time I was here it was a very small chicken, so this is a much better chicken than the last time I had it. Just perfectly tender, flavorful, all kinds of good stuff. So I totally destroyed all of that food and I'm stuffed full, so it was time to pay the bill and the total with tip with $683.38 split eight ways. So we're all going into a food coma now. We're amazingly bloated and full, and we had a fantastic time. So just like this meeting of the Dirty Dozen group totally destroyed all that food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about Moscas. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks so much to everybody at Mosca's for a fantastic time and good food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.
Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.